Ladies and gentlemen, uh, today we talk about the first topic of the reflection then talk is the story of Lady Yue. The beauty of a woman is not on the face, but reflecting her pure and kind heart and her elegant manner. If a woman is both pure and calm within and elegant without, the Lord is real, dignified and beautiful. One day, uh, when the Buddha was uh, lecturing to the full assemblies of his disciples, an elder can hurriedly out of his pay homage to the Buddha. He reported to the Buddha, our word on one, a daughter-in-law in my family is self radiant for having good luck and is so elegant. She treat her the parents-in-law and her husband's rudely. I plan to give her a green lesson, but I want flight of full vexations, vexatious conduct. If I indulge her in conscientiousness and uh, wonders, she might be in college bowl. Isn't it harmful to her? Reward on one, could you please come to my home to accept my affording uh, and uh, teach my daughter in law? I hope she can take your instruction and change her behavior. The Buddha accepted his appeal the uh, right way. The next afternoon, the Buddha led his disciple to the eldest home. Uh, all his family will come and pay homage to land. The Buddha gave an instruction to the eldest daughters in law. It is against the woman's duty if a woman slides her husband and parents in law. Just, became, just because she is thought she is beautiful. The beauty of a woman is not on the face, but reflecting for the pure and the kind heart and her elegant mirrors. If a woman is both pure and kind within and elegant without, a lot is real, dignified, and beautiful. I do not. The Buddha told her, Lady Yue, about the ten distinguished things of women as follows. One, when she is born, it makes her parents unhappy. Two, her parents think it's not worth watching her because she cannot be in trust in the future. Three, women are timid and shy with the strangers. Four, women's parents will be worried about their marriage. Why? It's painful for both the woman and her mother when she gets married. Six, woman's emotion is apt to be affected by their husbands. They will be in apprehension and uh, misgiving for their husband's displeasure. Seven, when women, when women become the parent, they often have the stillbirth. Eight, we may have to be 
restrained by their parents when they are living at home. Nine, women must obey their husbands after they get married. Ten, women usually will be spurned by their children when they, when they get old. So the Buddha said, that the year. From the ten things I just told you, there is nothing a woman can be proud of. And she has to listen to others uh, any time. She cannot uh, even enjoy a little bit of the pleasure, just the freedom in her life. Therefore, if a woman doesn't know her defect, defect and has the swelled head, it really still be. After the Buddha said the tender shortcomings of women, Lady Yee was so touched and discarded all her arrogance. She tearfully knelt before the Buddha and sincerely repented. Her word, Hundred One, since disciple has the lowly origins, I had never been taught about how to be a good woman and a mirrors or treating the people. I am craving for complete instruction from a world honored one. At the late the U.S. request, the Buddha elaborately, elaborated on the five requirements for the woman. One, later to bay and early to rise, two, the housework and make the house clean and neat, report the old thing to husband and the parents in law respectfully. Let the husband and the parents in law eat first before she eats. Two, not to harbor grudge against the elders and the husband when being the scolded by the land. Three, defend her chastity and not to have a rude thought. Fourth, make sure to help her husband stay the health, the care of the household duty at home and not go out to enjoy herself when her husband is away from home. Five, always remember her husband's love and kindness uh, with gratitude and uh, forget his weaknesses. The Buddha then explained about it. If a woman uh, can do the about the mention five things, she will be the will be happy. Besides, she will be respected by her family and praised by others. Her relatives and her friends will be proud of her. God and, God and the spirits would be happy to bless her. Her soul will ascend to heaven to enjoy a felicity of a devil at the end of her earthly life. And the end of her celestial life, she will be born with a silver spoon in her mouth, intelligent and respected. One, on the contrary, the a woman who does evil will be abandoned by people and suffer mysterious misfortunes and fear. See, we are falling to the evil realm and suffer endlessly 
of the days or to listen to the Buddha's teaching, ready ear deeply depended on her thoughts. So, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of woman do you prefer to be? I hope any woman could accept the instruction from the Buddha and the Lord has happy life. My best wishes to you and may Amitabha bless you all. Next topic we talk about quit gambling to appreciate and cherish your blessing. All marriage could manage the true happiness. The things could be eliminated through repentance. Once tremendous the marriage could disappear the two his consciousness masters things could be erased through the repentance. A Chinese proverb is a ghost. Heriority is the foremost all old virtue. Lost the worst of all the evils. In my opinion, gambling is the second evil thing other than the last. Anyone knows gambling is not a good thing. Although many gamblers know gambling may ruin gamblers' family or and a personal reputation, they couldn't quit it. The most common reason I lot gambling provides a sense of excitement to both the winners and the losers. Sometimes they could live with, without a foot or earn massive winnings in the short term, it is hard for the winner to stop the gambling because when they win, they couldn't settle themselves. Uh, they became the greedy and want to win more. If they lose, they think all oh, we are happening, good time, and they can win the back what they have lost. Own time, she's turned out contrary to the way one wishes. The winner will become losers, while the losers will be uh, will lose more. Through the ages, driven by speculation and greed, gambling addict. Thou suffer miserable fate. There is a saying in the vegetable roots this caused a compilation of philosophical aphorism that combine element from the Confucianism, Taoism, and then Buddhism. All merit could manage the true happiness. The thing could be eliminated through repentance. Once tremendous merit could disappear to true his consciousness, monstrous things could be erased through repentance. It's clear that the heaven will not find food with a person who depends on his things sincerely. If one can depend timely, 
he can make himself useful in the huge future. The predestined fate of the country, of the country, or a war in the future, can be predicted from the change of people's goodness and badness. The technological the development uh, since the 20th century has brought the people a great material benefits. However, the human heart has been deteriorated from the increasing material desire and many calamities were lost cost. Many people in Taiwan indulged in underground gambling games, especially in the central of Taiwan. All of some good-hearted people advised the land not to be addicted to it. For your land, who listen? We must understand that anyone has his blessing. But where do the blessing come from? It comes from our heart. The spring of our first day just lies in our momentary thought. A harmonious family can be created by the following ways. Having a loving parent and a filial children. All family members act properly and earnestly. All family are hardworking and frugal instead of marriage. Cherish blessing and good do good deeds. Conduct on oneself with dignity and self respect. Otherwise, the family will not be harmonious and much trouble will be caused if any family member likes to gamble or be an opportunist. Therefore, blessedness does not come from the prayer but real action. Working and doing good deeds, this is the so called cultivate your own field of blessing and now slip your own good fortune. As Taiwan's economy has developed and most people are well off with blessing except a minority and a criminal. One should appreciate his blessing. We live in a democratic and free country with open economy. And we can live in peace and work happily. We should be satisfied with a lot. We shall have several respect so as to keep our blessing forever. If gambling addict if gambling addict can make the change and start a new life, they are still hopeful. There are so many uh, charity that engage in numerous good things to Many feeders need it. We should give out time and money to the good deeds, such as to help establish charitable hospitals, the good things to help the need for the poor, instead of the gambling. With the great virtues and merits of doing good deeds, 
one's faith can be changed. On the other hand, if a gambler could not stop in sense of gambling or be the awakened from it, it will be miserable when bad luck befalls him. Anyway, whether it is creating a blessing or inviting a disaster, it's, it's all decided by a single thought. Just like you know, all the Chinese sense goes, calamities and blessings are not fixed. We bring them upon ourselves. I hope all those who are addicted to gambling will soon wake up, like the Chinese proverb say, make a pose on the brink of precipice. Just repent, salvation is at hand. Collect your behavior. Find a good job and work hard as early as possible. Then your blessing, then your blessing and the bright future will come one day. Next time we talk about four visits pertaining to mutable life. To end the suffering of the Sisters, the terms of regulation, one must sever the root cause of the love, keep a good thought in one's mind, make a boost to learn the Buddhism and the transcend the cycle of birth and death. One day, when the Buddha is sitting with his 100 disciples under a tree, preach to thousands of people. Uh, the 14 years old son of a very wealthy elder in the city happened to pass away due to a uh, severe disease. His family and friend are full of the sorrow. The, the elder was very pleased to know the Buddha was preaching in the city. He told his wife, Ah, the great and the most world Buddha is preaching in our city. We shall pay respect for beast to him quickly and listen to his lecture. So as to the dear our pain and sorrow. Shortly after that, he led his clan and servants to request the teaching from the Buddha. As soon as they arrived, the elder knit me for the Buddha and asked, were under one when the man is alive? If he only knows to get with, with everlasting deliberation and doesn't give arms or upholstery and precepts, and at the end of his life, his parent, brother, and relative sorrow over his death or even bury him along with his treasure. Cold, quilt, food, and drinks. We eat the manifold of the day. The Buddha explained it to the elder and his disciple. They are all kinds of human wishes that will not last forever. The first kind of the wish is that. Humans are attached to their bodies. They are always, they are health, 
beautiful and long lived. So they are washing, adorn, dress, free, and tend their body and enjoy themselves from the time to time. Once they get sick, they could not stop it. After they die, their soul cannot leave the world with their other bodies. So far the use of body and the human bodies. The second kind of the wish is that humans all wish to have more wealth and a higher official ranks. They seek for fame and riches, all hot. They feel the happy when the obtaining the land. If not, they feel agonized. However, once they are die, all the other treasure of his land, when and again we are beyond demand in the war. They cannot take away any of the land, and only at the last time they realize that they have made you told a fault. The third kind of the wish is that humans always to have a love of parents, brothers, relatives, and friends. But no one can save you when you get old or sick or are nearing death. When you die, they can only send you to the graveyard outside the town in tears and then separate. They will feel sorrow and think of you just for a short period of time, and they will forget you over time. The full kind of this is human wills. For your people to can hold their wills, most people live a life of ease and self indulgence. They enjoy the fight the desire and the precious alliance from the object of the fight the sense. They get angry, fight with others, and become immortal because they are greedy for fame and wealth. Right up to their days, when they are the soul I live in the world, they, they can take nothing with land, but the evil karma, they creating the world. That is to say, they fall into the evil destinies with their evil karma. Once a man could not retain the correct mindfulness and is influenced, influenced by evil thoughts, he might commit the killing, the stealing, the abortery. Since he has committed sins when alive, he will naturally suffer the purgatory after his death. Therefore, the Buddha told the Ed and all his disciples to have collect the thinking, maintain the collect the state of the mind. Often contemplate that we don't own our body or any wealth. Don't think you are the parent. Kiss and can. Many men. When and again I have for to you. They are of no use at all. When you become the old, you would die. Hence, you we can 
Save the root cause of love. Be away from the three evil destiny. And uh, be the boy in, in the three good destinies. We will do this. We will trace and the cycle of birth and death and the end of the ceaseless transmigration. Thus, when the Buddha concluded the preaching, all his disciples rejoiced to hear it. And they accepted the teaching with great faith. They all uh, prostrated to the Buddha and uh, then departed. They followed the uh, Buddha's uh, lectures. This continued all idle thought, cultivated themselves, and uh, we are so happy. As you listen to the story and realize that humans cannot maintain the above mentioned for the visits, you will know how to relieve yourselves and purify your mind. And you will sure know how to cultivate yourselves to manifest the date. Practicing the Buddhism is the only way to help the dead be the born good destiny, escape suffering and attain the happiness. Is it it? Next time we talk about kill the kill time with diligence. Only with working diligently can we live peaceful and uh, meaningful life. They are twenty-four hours in a day. The average the human uh, life span is twenty uh, is seventy to eighty years. How to kill time in the lifelong journey? This is an important issue of life. Most people kill time by doing senseless things, such as eating, drinking, being merry, being merry, gambling, playing cards, etc. Uh, these kinds of the life are nearly meaningless. Although you are dozens of people or thirty. I'm sure you all would not do such things. But how shall we kill time? After all, we shall kill time with working hard. A chairperson of a large enterprise in Kaohsiung, Taiwan, once said, "Once said, with the wealth we have now." I can't spend it all. Even I spend one hundred thousand dollars a day and live to one hundred years. He keeps working, even though he is so rich. He is not greedy for money, but to kill time with his business. We can understand from the what he said. Only with working can we deeper peaceful and meaningful the life. If a man doesn't work but lives idly, he will feel bored. Then again, the chairperson say, "Although I have a lot of money, I am still hardworking and thrifty." I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't drink. I don't engage in social interaction or go to place of entertainment. After I go home, I usually have a cup of tea, read the newspaper, 
post some of the books. That's all. I live like a lot every day. Next day, I keep working for my business energetically and make a contribution to society. It is realized that his success of an entrepreneur rests entirely on their constant diligence rather than enjoyment. Buddhism is originally an education, striving, striving, uh, being active, aggressive, and real. One of the six parameters is real and progress, which is one of the important six prizes relating to Buddhahood. In Buddhist sutras, it contains mainly the story that encouraged the Bud Buddhist disciples to practice burglary. Sakyamuni, the Buddha, the fundamental, the fundamental the teacher of this Sahar world, had gone through many the hospitals before he attained enlightenment. The well-known Maitreya had bowed to practice before Shakyamuni Buddha. However, Shakyamuni the Buddha achieved Buddha the before Maitreya because of his stronger power of unfailing progress and exhaustion. Exhaustion. It is sure that all the experience of Buddhas are the best example to all disciples of Buddha. In the secretly the populated monastery of the mainland of China, monks and nuns have to do a lot of work every day. They take turns to do the cleaning chop wood for fuel, carry the water, grow the vegetable, do the cooking, etc. They regard the laboring service as practice and enrich their lives by the working so as to realize the power and the meaning of the life. Therefore, the each out out should work joyfully, joyfully, and uh, create our own life earnestly, so we will not be unworthy of being the humans. As the saying goes, you yourself must eat to get a full. You must put an end to your own birth and death. Anyone needs to fulfill his ideal and goals of life with zeal and diligence. We should treat all work as good opportunity to temper our body and mind because it can enrich our life and make us exert ourselves to all many for the things. All the life is short, lasting only some decades. If we can make good use of it to be made with all such means, it will make our life worthwhile as well. Therefore, anybody should kill time with striving the active, aggressive, and burglarious spirit. We'd better do more of the beneficial things, follow the means, 
engaging charity activities, do more good deeds, chant the Buddha's the scriptures, worship the Buddha's, meditate, and even enjoy the natural sight, or do any great act for the public good, for good for our body and the mind, and never waste our time upon playing, playing the cup, and gambling, and having wine. Enjoy the uh, meaningless, the sensory pleasures, etc. That way, we don't exhaust our life in men. Next topic, we talk about fortune telling. Your present life is the result, to, uh, result of the past life. Your next life will be a consequence of this life. Uh, many people like fortune telling. And once they meet uh, with a little adversity, and they go to a fortune teller, and they feel they live after consulting the fortune teller. No matter how big their problems are, he seems like anything is destined by fate. Uh, it's people's habit child behavior to predict they are good for bad luck in the future through fortune telling. General fortune telling is based on the this mode cycle with the ten unit and uh, the discernment, discernment cycle with 12 units. While there is different uh, interpretation of the destiny in Buddhism. It is the cold karma, the so-called destiny is cold condition resulting the, from the karma in Buddhism. Pe people think life is the one that can talk, eat, wear clothes, and walk. It's called the world body in Buddhism. Which results from the one's past karma created by himself. Karma is one's destiny. He has good karma and bad karma. One receives reward due to his past good deeds and uh, retribution due to the evil deeds. He wanted the both good and the evil deeds in the past. He will receive the reward and the retribution. Good deeds, evil deeds, and the power of karma are in Separable. The comic laws of cause and effect never fails. Why do some people live comfortably while others suffer? It's all because of the different form of karma. Your present life is the result of the past life. Not only anyone has different form of karma. Uh, even children with the same mother have a different experience, looks, conduct, temperament, or character. Good-looking parents have the ugly children, or ugly parents have the children with dignified appearance. It's all caused by different karma. Karma is destiny. It comes neither from the outside, nor by nature, by, made by one's might in Buddhism. It is a huindalak. It is huindat. 
Anything is made from the mind alone. For instance, for instance, someone would like to learn the painting today and learn the flower elegant arrangement tomorrow. It's all from his changing the mind. It's once mind doesn't want to paint or arrange flowers, then his hand will not draw anything or any arrange any flowers. The same is true for eyes, ears, nose, tongues, and the body. You, your mind doesn't want to see anything. Your eye will not see the view outside. When you are worried about something or depressed, you don't feel like seeing it. Even the beautiful scenery is writing you are from. When you feel unhappy for distress, you can't enjoy it. Even the music is great. When you, pay, when you have idle soap for worrying your mind, you can't tell whether it's fragrant or smelly. When you don't care about anything or do not concentrate on anything, you will not feel cold for warm, light for heavy, happy or painful. All our feeling is the functions of our mind and consciousness. Anyone hopes to be rich, honored, a long zip, and have many offspring and descendants. Actually, offspring and descendants are created from the uniting of the past causes and conditions. It's neither the coincident nor foreseeable. If you have good affinity for favorable condition in your past life, you can certainly be long lived and enjoy life in comfort and happiness in this life. If, if you had a condition or a heaven after spring in your former life, you, you, you will naturally have learned in this life. You not. You won't have any even you in she's done getting land. The same the holds good of the wealth and honor, what reward or retribution you will receive in this life depends on the karma you creating your former life. You want to know your destiny in the future. You need to introspect your present thought lies in your mind. Anything will be determined by the present good thought or evil thought. If one can understand the principle of truth, he will know his destiny without going to a fortune teller. It is ridiculous that people are little unclear about their birth and death. No one knows what will happen after death. Even the fortune teller doesn't know his own causes, conditions. Pretty authentic reward for retribution. 
how could he know other people's cause and effect? Sakyamuni Buddha is the only one who can tell fortune and knows all living beings' causes, condition, and effect. A cultivated sure believing in Buddha's wisdom instead of a fortune teller. Just examine your mind, a virtuous mind will surely bring about good destiny. Evil thought will surely bring about an adverse the destiny. One will live the world for his good deeds. If one can follow the rule of just practice good deeds and don't ask about the future, he will surely have a bring future. Tell me to work. Uh, next we talk about uh, uh, the fresh time rules. Love in heart. Uh, those who are loving, merciful, tolerant will easily win popularity. They are happy to get along with others and is likely to act in paradise with bullies. Today, time is up. But, but bless you. I'm in October.